Welcome back, guys. So we're out here tonight getting ready for our trip back up to Tennessee to uh, Rocky Top. And uh, we've got some headlights here from BTS Lighting. Shout out to these guys. I'll put the link in the description below to his website and all that. And as you guys know, if you drive a 389, the headlights absolutely are terrible. Very terrible. A low beam. I don't high beam, they're blinding. So, my buddies over there at BTS sent me these lights, and we've got some LED turn signals here also because we've got all halogen style factory inc incandescent, whatever you want to call them, non LED bulbs, and everything else in this truck is LED. So, we're going to update these factory headlight housings with some LED bulbs, and uh, I'm going to go test them out. See how bright they are. Are the brights on? Which one ain't working? What in the front door? There you have it. We've got our BTS LED headlights all installed. They're very bright, can't see nothing. And uh, we're gonna start getting ready for this trip up Tennessee to Rocky Top Diesel Shootout. So we made it up here to Crossville, Tennessee, delivered that little uh, John Deere. I told that feller, hey, we'll deliver it for free. We're already coming up here to Crossville, and he uh, came over from like the Nashville area. So no charge delivery to that nice customer. And now we are headed over to Mountain Farm to see if we can snatch up two tractors, max, to carry back with us because we've got limited space on this here uh, trailer. Once we go get the cab over, and uh, after we get on here at Mountain Farm, headed up to uh, the paint shop with Fitzgerald where the cab over has been sitting. We're going to drive that baby back. Blue collar is coming home. Well, we made up here to Mountain Farm. Got a jump box, walked around, looked at some tractors, and we struck a deal. We're picking up a little Mahindra, the loader backhoe, and this Mahindra E350 DI. This is about as classic as they freaking get on the Mahindra tractors. This baby's old, but man, is she in great shape. So the batteries are dead on them. Thankfully, we brought our jump boxes with us. Uh, hopefully we'll, <laughs> we're gonna end up having to use these on the old cab over here in this video too so gonna get his babies loaded up and uh, go from there all right so we're gonna hook this ground the battery's up there in the front I don't feel like dealing digging the battery out this baby up right there set that right there and she should cheech as long as there's nothing else wrong with it you got the green light means go Let's start, start with a key. We're going to use our starting apparatus right here. The battery probably ain't dead. It's probably just got a bad uh, connection somewhere or something. Ta da! about these ramps. It's going to be close. Boy, this thing a little cutie. We've been needing a uh, loader backhoe tractor because I had a lot of people come in and ask them. We just haven't had any.
Must have a bad battery or something going on here with a safety switch. Yeah, turn the uh, battery a jump box off and back on. Good. Cut the jump box off and back on again. There you have it guys, we got our tractors all loaded up. We're gonna go pick up blue collar the cab over and we're gonna go drop this off at the drag strip first because we're going to the Rocky Mountain, Rocky Top. The diesel drag race here in Crossville this weekend, so we're going to drop the truck and trailer off, Uber up or catch a ride with my buddy Kyle, and uh, drive the cab over down, because I want to drive her a little bit, so just loading it right up, and uh, see if she'll start up. So let's go in here and pay for these babies, and we're going to head south. The reason I grabbed them is I wanted to bring home a load of at least a couple tractors, so it pays for fuel and, you know, a little bit else. So let's go. Perfect. The gate's open. We're going to pick up Blue Collar. Before we do that, we just ate Taco Bell. My gut is dying. Ooh, baby. Look at it over there in the weeds. Yep. There you go. Woo, that was a close one. About room of drawers. Uh, we made it up here to the paint shop here at Fitzgerald and the semi-casual shop actually and uh man look at this freaking truck right here this is like a cream tan color the fr frame's the same color it looks like they're working on basically what we're going to be doing with the uh trader taxi they're sanding the frame down back there you kind of see what's going on they got the tanks off of it and getting ready to paint all kinds of stuff so really cool we'll be up here in about a month month and a half doing the same stuff to the trader taxi but let's jump into what this video is all about and that is Old BC out there in the back 40. Let's go see if she'll start up. This rain will quit sprinkling. All right, folks, it is finally that time. Let's see if this baby is going to cheat. I'm sure the battery's dead. You guys remember all the issues we've been having with the uh, starter, or not starter, but the batteries and the charger, alternator, all that stuff. So, yeah, ain't a lick of power inside that thing right now. Oh, that don't sound good. <laughs> A dirt dauber in there or something. Sounds like old gas. No, it don't look like our other starting system's gonna work, so we're gonna hook this jump box in here somehow. It's not very easy to get to the jump lug on this thing, so kind of feel for it. Boy, I think it'd be wild if this thing starts up with this little tiny jump box. It'd be crazy. I 
a good good ground somewhere on here. Our old fast ain't looking too hot sitting out here in the weather like this. Hmm. Where did I ground this thing at before? I think I grounded it right there and it worked. Well, let's see. Jump box is on. Oh, shoot. Will it start? It's in neutral. <laughs> that jump box is legit. Holy crap. Legit, legit. Good now? Woo, baby! Forgot what the exhaust sounds like. That thing sounds sick. Heck yeah. See, we got some oil pressure. Oh yeah, lots. The air tanks fill up right quick. Guarantee he's gonna have a stuck brake, you watch. Have to probably get a hammer and slap one of the drums. Oh yeah, they're stuck. Alright. So this thing's been sitting here for a little while. The drums are stuck, so I'm gonna go get a hammer from up here in the shop and slap them and break them loose. They're gonna hop in this <laughs> I can't stop smiling. Hop in this baby, we're gonna ride up to uh, the main shop, semi-casual shop, and uh, go hang out with those guys for a little bit. All the stuff that came out of the exhaust. Did you see that? Oh my goodness. Think you can make some videos of this? Oh, yeah. So I'm going to walk back here and smack one of these drums somehow because they're stuck. So you can hear it. It's got an air leak. This baby definitely needs some attention. Well, let's go see if it'll move now. Probably not. We'll try. Nope, she's still stuck. Ah. Come on, you mother trucker. There's no like, can't get a good hit on it. Unless I can get a pry bar in there and pop the shoe loose. Screwdriver, baby. I feel like walking all the way back out there to the shop again. There's one. Well, let's try it again. Probably not good enough, but we'll try it.
there one still dragging? Still dragging? Right now? There it went. Heard it click. All right. Try it again. So right here in this clip, you're going to find out that I've got a voiceover going on. That's because my mic happened to get some water in the uh, in the voice input part of the mic. And it wasn't picking up any sound, or at least not nothing you guys could actually hear. And I'm like, oh, where are the light switches? How do I turn the light switches on? Uh, well, oh, there we go. Definitely don't want to run that in the daytime, or really if I'm driving down the road. Uh, yep. Oh, what do we do next? Oh, windshield wipers are on full blast. Probably going to burn the wiper blades up. AC's on. Let's turn the freaking radio on in this bird. Get some uh, tunes going. This one actually has subs in the back. I'm showing Ryan all the subs it's got and tweeters and all the other cool stuff. And Gosh, I really do miss this truck, guys. I can't really express to you. Um, yeah, Breaker Breaker 1-9, this here's the rubber duck. Come on. <laughs> That's exactly what I said. These Peter belts. I'm rolling up on my Freightliner. Tell you what, I've been smiling ear to ear since we left Livingston, and now we're over here towards, uh, I can't remember the name of the city up here where semi casuals at, but dang it, son. Look at that truck. Wow. It just slings a rod to the block. <laughs> Brian. <laughs> He's like, hang on, let me let me put this on camera. Let me let me get you a video blowing it up. <laughs> Shut her down. When y'all are taking tomorrow, yeah? That thing's yeah, sweet. Oh, I don't like the Peterbilt wheels. You do? I don't. I, I like round holes. I know, me too. There's that blue flat top we've seen on Instagram. All right, so we're in here in the shop. It is monsooning outside right now, and Brian's gonna show me some cool stuff. Can I show this Peterbilt stuff? Yeah. <laughs> already showing it. So Pete is about to, Peterbilt itself is about to release these chrome, chrome plated, I don't think they're, I think they're aluminum, clutch, brake, and throttle pedal, and this nice shifter cover here. Really nice stuff. And uh, you guys don't really know it, but I did spec out and order another flat top for next year. We don't know when it'll be here, probably March, something like that. And this truck right here is very similar to kind of what I've ordered. Um, this one is for Bill with Rethwich Trucking. It's a flat top. It's kind of a longer sleeper, longer frame, but I like the flat top look. And it's got big rubber on the front too. Really nice. That's just plain old blue, isn't it? It's not any... It's, uh, I didn't know. There's no like metallic in it, I didn't. It's not, no, it's a, it's a straight blue, but I forget the color called the... Um... It's called the bluest of blue. <laughs> Well, it just says blue. I don't remember what the, the name of it is. Are you putting sit -so lows in here or no? Um, this is all we're doing to it. Oh, really? Just... This is Bill. So they're going to take it back and do a bunch of stuff to it. Oh, we Bill threw, is? Yeah, we threw the exhaust, the visor, and I painted the dash panel. Yeah, I like the dash. It looks good. Um, and cool. Other than that, like, they'll go back and they'll do... Whatever they're going to do. Yeah. And this is a truck they just finished. The Elk. So it's got the well, we're almost treatment. done. Yeah, yeah, we're or, it's, or, it's uh, getting done. We got the manifold. We polished uh, Peter almost chrome polished all turbo and the Dynaflex chrome underhood kit deal. Yeah, this is definitely going to happen on my. 
I think I'm going to go ahead and put the compounds on it from PDI. <laughs> it still looks <laughs> it, I mean, why not? Why not? It looks awesome, and it'll freaking... I hope it sounds a little bit different. I, the sound, I don't think it's crazy different. Because really? you're still going through the huge muffler. Yeah, I know, but I think it, maybe you'd hear the turbo. You'd probably hear the turbo better. I want to find someone that's got it done and go for a ride. Uh, if you go to our truck show next weekend, <laughs> Bottomley's truck's going to be there, and it's got the PDI compounds. Yeah, I've seen Bottomley's. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll be at his show and all these other shows. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's not that far away. So these are the fenders we're putting on my truck. I don't know about these hubcaps. I mean, those hubcaps do look cool, but, like, what are the metal ones I see? The roadworks. Yeah. The ones that cover the whole. The whole deal, thing. yep. Those look cool. I do like these fenders a lot, though. So you finally got mine in? Yours are, they're right there. You got my name on them? Right, I didn't write your name on them, but those are yours. I'm gonna write my name before I leave, so make sure they don't get used. <laughs> I got those and your center panel. So, oh, nice. we got the same, the same deal yeah, for you. Yeah, so this is, I've been, everybody's been wondering you gotta put fenders on, because I got like three dents in the back of the truck now. Do you? From rocks. Oh, yeah. We yeah, it happens. to do something with that. I got you a new cross member. Made you a cross member, <laughs> and it puts all your air and electric in the center. It's all nice and pretty. Oh, really? And we'll make you a new mount for your horn. That'd be cool. They are very loud. We used them several times on the way here. But I made the cross member for yours where it comes out wider, so you don't have the you don't have quite as much of a space there. It's just so smooth. Can't wait. I can, I'm not looking forward to all the sanding. We were at the paint shop. We seen them sanding down that. Tan They're doing truck. the tan truck right now. Ryan, like this is what we have to do. <laughs> it's the whole so thing. So have you guys tried the dump yet or no? Or are you gonna let him do that? No, we've, well, we had to to paint it. So, cause you had, we had to paint all under here. Underneath. Oh. So we backed this thing in the paint booth. Fun story, this is about four foot longer than the paint booth. <laughs> so we opened up the doors and had to like put plastic all over the doors it. and then down around the doors, make the paint booth uh, bigger. And then basically hook the truck up and pick the trailer up so that we could get the paint gun over top of all that structure back there. So what does he haul on this thing? Rocks or something? Or gravel? Um, or? I, I, yeah, and I think they even do some ag stuff with it too. They'd probably stick to ag and get dented all real bad. Yeah. They, these guys, uh, they, they've gotten six trucks from us this year and I think eight trailers. Wow. So we Very built nice. that center panel. Yeah, that's I all, that. That's like a one-off thing we just made. Lift axle, that's sweet. The lights, uh, check out the lights, hang on. Ryan, you guys got these lights that go inside like that? Um, yep. I need some of those in the worst way. Do you see what we do with the dash lights on the bottom? Oh, that's sweet. So did y'all do that? Uh-huh, we put them in. Oh. So they're just button lights, they're blue, they're yeah. blue button lights, and then we put them down across on the, the floor. Too? Yep. Wow. Did you have to pull the whole dash out to get in there too? All the bottom, all the lower panels you do. That is really nice. Looks like a lot of work. It's not terrible. I've got more of those, even the, the blue button lights, we can put them in your dash. It looks good. It's nice going down the road with it because you can flip the, there on our own switch. Mm -hmm. So if you just want to get stuff off the floor or whatever. You can see what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. and it's not, it's not one of those things where it's in your eyes when you're driving. We got the blue cap. <laughs> we got the blue cap over. We got blue collar pulled in the shop. I'm going to uh, work on unbolting the upper half of the stacks because we're going to be putting this thing on the step deck and carrying it back home to uh, Dade City. So, and trying to clean up some of the other stuff we got going on, check some fluids and all that before we head home and get it loaded up. So I hope you enjoyed the video of us getting the blue collar cab over revived, taking her for a rip and seeing all the cool stuff they got going on in the shop here. It's in my casual shop. Make sure y'all smash that like button, drop a comment down below, freaking subscribe. Go to brucelessonshop.com, grab your tur 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 t shirts. <laughs> oh boy, the Trader Taxi shirts we should have any day now. Like I mentioned before, guys, there was a COVID problem with the t shirt printer. She said they shipped today, so we'll, I'll be shipping them out Monday when I get back home. So, see y'all later. Peace.